Harold West was a selfish man. All his life he just wanted wealth. No one knew why he had an obsession with it. Ever since he was a child, he would have stolen other children's pocket money during lunch and bullied them out of it when he was a teenager. He believed when he was old enough, he would have all the wealth in the world. But that wish never came true. Despite having a desire for riches, he never had the ambition or accept the responsibility to achieve it. Due to his nature, he grew up with no friends and all his family disowned him. Now living in an ordinary house, earning minimum wage as a postman, an occupation while respected and rewarded in society, to Harold, however, it was seen as manual work for servants, and doing nothing in his spare time but watch television all day and night, Harold believed his life was cursed little knowing it was his own actions that put him in this lifestyle. On one cold winter's night, Harold arrived home after a long shift at work. Bloody overtime, he muttered to himself. It's not like I ask for it. Don't earn enough as it is, let alone more. After changing out of his work clothes, he prepared his dinner for the night, and just as he was about to sit at the kitchen table, the doorbell suddenly rang. Always when I'm about to eat, he said out loud as he got up from his chair. He arrived at the front door with an unpleasant review planned for the unwanted visitor, only to find once he opened the door to see nothing but the dark empty street in front of him. Believing it to be a prank by one of the neighbourhood kids, Harold was about to slam the door shut until he caught his eye on something near his feet. A black box. No bigger than a shoe box with a white envelope stuck on top of it. Out of curiosity and paranoid it might be another trick, Harold picked up the box quickly and shut the front door. He observed the box. I didn't order anything, did I? He thought. On certain nights, after a hard day at work, Harold would engorge himself to alcoholic drinks, which would occasionally result in him doing stuff with no memory of the action the morning after. However, his last hangover was two weeks ago. Harold decided to open the envelope stuck on top. As he opened it, he thought the possibility of the box being mistakenly delivered at his house when it was meant for one of the neighbours. If that was the outcome, he would know the decent thing to do was to return it, with a small exchange of an award afterwards. To his disappointment, however, he found in the envelope a letter saying, Congratulations! You are one of the lucky people chosen to take part in a little social experiment. What you have is a wishing box. A very rare find that possesses mystical powers. All you have to do is hold the box in your hands and make a wish. Open the box and find whatever you wish for inside. Simple as that. If you've already opened the box without reading this note, simply place the lid back on and follow the instructions again. But beware, every wish will have a price. Have fun! Harold crunched up the note. What a load of bollocks. He opened the box and found nothing inside. Stupid kids and their pranks. He threw the box across the kitchen and continued to finish his dinner. Afterwards, he moved into the front room to watch the television. Still angry with the box, Harold couldn't help but feel a strong presence come over him. Almost like a voice was calling to him. Make a wish, it was saying, over and over again. Trying to ignore the urge with all of his might, Harold eventually gave in and found the box. Sitting in front of the television with the box on his lap, Harold said to himself, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm only doing this once. He placed both of his hands on the lid and thought what he would wish for. An hour passed until he finally decided what he wanted. The very thing he dreamed of when he was young. I wish to be the wealthiest and most powerful person in the world. Years of work and underneath authority has also given Harold a thirst for power for himself. After thinking and saying the wish out loud, with the strange belief that the box would hear him better, Harold slowly started to open the box, but remembered the warning. Every wish has a price. What could the price be for a wish like that? I'm the type of man who deserves this. All my life I've been a working man with nothing to show for it. A real man earns a lot. A 
real man should be wealthy all his life. With enough delusional encouragement for himself, he carried on opening the box and found a little white card with a infinity symbol on it. Harold picked up the card and found written on the back the infinity card. Unlimited resources at your disposal. Harold jumped up from his seat with joy and shouted with such excitement he was surprised that he didn't wake the neighbours. It worked! I'm rich! I'm rich! In case you're wondering how he knew the card worked to begin with, an hour ago he didn't have anything inside a so-called magic box until he followed the instructions, so intuition played a part here. With so many ideas going through his head and not knowing what to do first, Harold started making a list of all the stuff he planned to purchase. First, I'm going to call work and tell him to stuff it. Then, I'm buying a house. No, a mansion in Knightsbridge. Then, I'm getting plastic surgery to get rid of his gut. Get myself a Ferrari. Then, I'm buying a wig, a flat screen TV the size of a cinema. Then, I'm... Before he could finish that last designer, he noticed the news had just come on. He thought it was strange, as he watched TV enough to know that the evening news wouldn't come on for another hour until he saw it was breaking news. He turned the volume up and listened to the news presenter. If you have just joined us now, a major incident has just erupted at Downing Street. The Prime Minister and all of his cabinet have died under mysterious circumstances. With medical officers saying that all their hearts just suddenly stopped, authorities believe no foul play is involved, but we will continue to investigate. We will keep you updated with all the la- Hang on. I've just gotten word that the President has been found dead with- I can't- That's- All of them? Every world leader has died simultaneously. We'll get back to you on that, as the world reacts to this universal tragedy. The scene suddenly went to a title card saying, we are experiencing technical difficulties, be back soon. Harold sat in his chair dumbfounded. Can't have been me, could it? I just wish to be the most wealthiest and most powerful, and it dawned on him that his wish didn't just make him the wealthiest and most powerful person in the world, he was the only wealthiest and most powerful person in the world. Before he could think of his options, the screen went back to the presenter. We've just received word that British intelligence have found the individual responsible for this catastrophe. After looking into the bank accounts of all the victims, they were found emptied but all transferred over to a man in England called Harold West. The presenter looked directly into the camera as if he was talking to Harold. Harold, if you're watching this right now, I need to ask. As the most powerful man in the world right now. What do we do? It's all up to you now.